Hello, my friends. You're my friend. You're my friend. You're my friend. If you're watching this, you're my friend. You can't do anything about it. It is I, Sam the Vlog, aka Sir underscore Beardface, here with Jasper doing a little hiking. We're going to check out my new camera backpack that I acquired. I've added to my collection. We're going to go through all the pros and cons. It's a cool bag, so stick around. First, let's roll the brand new intro. Guys, what is up? Welcome back. Let me know what you thought of the new intro. I just created that. All right, here's the scoop. Today we are gonna be reviewing this new backpack that I got. It is by Tubu. This isn't a sponsored video, but Tubu reached out and said, hey, we want you to do an unbiased review of this, of this bag. We'll send it to you. I said, sure, go ahead and send it. I'll do an unbiased review. So that means I'm gonna tell you exactly what I do like and what I don't like about it because I'm not being paid to like say good things about this bag. But I will say so far, it's a pretty sweet bag. Let's dive into the pros first. So let's dive into some of the features of this bag and why I decided to check it out for Tubu. First of all, it's got this outdoorsy vibe. The other backpack that I have, if you saw my last review for that, is more of a city bag in my mind. It's not really for like hiking outdoor stuff. This one's kind of got more of that backpacker feel to it, which I liked, and it is a little bit bigger. So I'm trying to fit in a little bit more of my gear, both camera gear, video gear, and then also some outdoor gear in here as well which is nice because this one has a lot more space. So if you're taking an overall look at the bag, first of all, we'll make this quick. We don't want to make this boring. I just want to show you this bag so you can uh, decide if you want it or not. It's loaded with pockets, straps, buckles, zippers. Overall quality, it's a solid bag. The stitching is all double stitched. Really solid feeling. The buckles feel solid. They're not going to snap on you and break, cause issues. Um, all the pockets are reinforced with the canvas down here at the bottom. Some of the uh, overall features that I think are cool is it's water resistant, just as it is, and then it actually comes with a rain fly that covers the entire bag. So you could be hiking out in crappy weather and still have all your gear protected. The other thing that drew me to this bag was the price point. There are other bags that are similar to this in size and build quality that cost hundreds of dollars. This one came in at like 74 bucks. That is not a bad price. In fact, it's cheaper than my other bag and it has more room and more features. So that's something to consider when shopping for a DSLR bag, but it still feels like it's good quality, which is nice. On the back here is where you're gonna find your first DSLR pocket. Welcome Jasper, thanks for making all this noise in my video. They actually say you can hold two cameras and up to five lenses in this bag. There's a bottom compartment and a top compartment, which is pretty sweet. Um, this one has extra padding on the back, like we're talking one inch thick foam padding that's mesh and breathable uh, for comfort and support there. All the compartments, are Velcro, you can divide them up and arrange them however you like. That's both the bottom and the top compartment. And in the top compartment here, um, I've got this divided out to hold some of my gear. I keep my drone up here in this top compartment. It's got a nice cinch tie. You can tell this thing is weatherproof. It extends on the top and the nice thing about this bag is it's got a really um, secure little hood here that has the bungees on the side or the elastic on the side and then the straps down here are extendable so you can cinch that down and store as much gear as you want up here. Um, it also has a spot on the top here to loop off a sleeping bag or a bedroll and these cinch down as well. Um, you have quick access ports on all sides to be able to get to your gear quickly. That's for the bottom compartment and the top compartment. You can just unzip one of these, stick your hand in, grab what you need. So one of the unique things about these bags is these little tabs here that flip up. They fold up and down, boop. They make those noises when you touch them too. Um, what they are is their camera strap hooks. And the idea behind it is if you're wearing a camera strap and it's typically around your neck, if you're hiking and if you run into this before, you don't want your camera in your bag, you wanna be out shooting but you're still hiking, your camera's flying all over the place, all that weight is on your neck as you have a backpack pulling you back that way. The idea behind this is that you hook these, you hook your strap back behind these hooks and it distributes the weight of your camera across your shoulder straps and across the backpack, which is actually really nice. And it also keeps your camera a little bit more secure from swinging all over the place. I don't have a camera on it because I'm shooting on my camera right now, but you get the idea. These straps just hook in. You hook this right behind there and boom, your weight is distributed. The camera weight is distributed across the shoulder straps. I think that's a super cool feature. And I like it when companies take a little bit of extra time to add in some neat features that other bags aren't doing. Because I mean, you can pull on this thing and it's like 
part of the backpack now. It's nice, it's secure. That's a pro. I do like that this bag is decked out with all these extra snaps and buckles. Uh, you can cinch almost anything down. There's a chest strap for extra support to keep your bag from wiggling. There's a waist strap along the bottom to distribute the weight on your hips rather than putting all that stress on your shoulders. They also use YKK zippers, which are tough, strong zippers. Uh, they've been around forever, so you're not gonna run into issues with your zippers busting off, things like that. Guys, there's one more pro that I gotta go over with you here. This is a, a pro of all pros. If you're out wandering around in the city or the forest or who knows where or things get sketch, maybe somebody's following you and you're getting some of those rapey vibes. Probably shouldn't say rapey, that's a bad word. Creepy vibes, let's say you're getting some creepy vibes from some stranger following you or you're lost, you've fallen down a well and nobody can find you and you're freaking out and you got your bag on? Well, guess what? Somewhere on here, somewhere on this bag, maybe the biggest pro and worth the money that this bag costs is right here built into your little chest strap. <whistles> little emergency whistle. That thing will get you out of a pickle. If you're in a pickle, blow the whistle. That's a motto. You gotta live by that motto. Kinda cool. Just random little features make this bag cool. So I've been wearing this bag all day. I've been hiking around with it and I've gotten a good feel for the functionality of it. And so far, I really enjoy it. There are only two cons that I've found so far that kinda bug me and I'm gonna walk you through them right now. The first one is that it does hold a laptop, but it only fits a 13 inch laptop. I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro. I did try to squeeze it in here this morning and it's a no-go, it does not fit. But being that this is gonna be my outdoor bag, I don't plan to carry my MacBook out here in the boonies when I'm hiking around. So that's not too big of an issue. If I'm traveling, I'll probably use another bag where I need my laptop. Unless you have a 13 inch, that's perfect. The second con that I noticed is the location for the tripod. How they show it on the site on Amazon is that the tripod legs stick down into this little compartment here on the side and then they cinch to get tightened. The, the pocket here is sturdy, so I don't, it's reinforced at the bottom. I don't think it's gonna wear out. The issue is that I no longer have a place to put my water bottle when I'm hiking around. I had to stick it in the top compartment and stitch it down, which kind of spooks me because if it ever leaked or whatever, all my gear is underneath it. I don't love that and there's no other side pockets to stick the water bottle in. Uh, the only other option would to get like a Nalgene bottle with a carabiner and hook it somewhere to the outside and strap it down, which could work. Uh, I just had a plastic water bottle with me today and there's nowhere to stick it with the tripod in the side of the bag. It kind of distributes the weight funky from side to side with the tripod. You can see in some of these shots that my bag is leaning off to one side and I tried to cinch up the shoulder straps to even it out and it always kind of just pulled to that direction because I have a, a heavy tripod. So that's something to consider. Really though, those are the only two cons that I could find about this bag. You could strap the tripod across these top straps here, but for hiking, that's not ideal because you're gonna have a tripod sticking out to either side and catching in the brush and the sticks and the weeds and the woods. And you know, if there's a bear hot on your trail or whatever and you get stuck between two trees, you toast, boy, you toast. Guys, I think that wraps up my review of this new bag by Tubu. I've linked everything in the description below if you wanna check it out. I give it two thumbs up, honestly. I have no issues with this bag that are gonna keep me from using it. I think it's well built, it's good quality, and of course it doesn't break the bank. It's at a good price point. So if you wanna check it out, click the link in the description. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you around and add you to my collection of friends because if you're watching, you're my friend. Like I said, you can't do anything about it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.